Hello everybody, I'm back with another knife review. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Spyderco Cali 3 carbon fiber, and that would be the knife in the middle right here. Uh, you can see I already got the size uh, comparisons and uh, the specs written up on the left hand side. So we'll just go and pause the video and take a look through all these. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this video as a request for uh, to uh, as a request from PC Redman. Uh, he wanted me to uh, do this sooner or later, so that's why I did. I went ahead and uh, pushed it ahead of all my other knife reviews. All right, all right so let's go and begin. Let's go and take this out of the way. Okay, so next up would be the last size comparison. Comparison, I mean, uh, to my hand. And uh, just so everybody knows, I do wear medium sized gloves, so I consider myself to have medium sized hands. And uh, you can tell this knife, uh, I can almost palm the entire knife, so you know, it's not too big of a knife, and it's very lightweight because of the carbon fiber. You know, nice and, uh, you know, nice and slim line in your hand here. The ergonomics is where this knife will shine the most. I mean, uh, you know, it's your very typical, awesome Spyderco ergonomics right here huge thumb ramp you know generous size handle compared to what the blade size is and uh you know nice curved spine uh you know swells here for your fingers to fall right into i mean it just it just feels so nice your hand just melts right into this you know it's a very very nice knife you know if, uh regardless of whether the ice pick grip or your standard forward grip you know it just it just feels nice i mean there's no way around it you know i can't say it any other way it's just a nice nice uh feeling knife um <clears throat> But uh, you guys who like uh, traction on your knives, this will not be the knife for you because this, G or this uh, carbon fiber is really, really smooth. So, so let's go and uh, get into that really quick here. And uh, with me, I have my uh, uh, carbon fiber Sage 1, which I'll be uh, showing you the differences of the carbon fiber here. So let's go and zoom in a little bit. And uh, okay, so first off, uh, as I'm twisting in the light here, you can see that the Cali 3 has kind of like a laminate, almost looks like a coating on top of it. Whereas the uh, Sage 1, you can prominently see the uh, individual uh, weaves of the carbon fiber. So, you know, and you, this is just basically like smooth plastic, you know, or you can feel like smooth coating. Whereas this one, you can just feel the individual bumps. So anybody who wants traction on their knives, the Cali 3 would not be for you. Uh, for people who don't care, uh, and I said like, like a nice smooth handle, then the Cali 3 would be for you. For everybody else, go buy a Sage 1. All right, so let me go and move that out of the way. <clears throat> Let's go and continue on with this review here. So I want to show you some more of this carbon fiber here. As I twist it in the light here, you can see the individual weaves in here, and it almost looks 3D, very beautiful. You can see how it kind of just reflects, and you know, it, it almost looks like a, you know some kind of a uh, you know undersea fish or something that has those like glow glowing scales or something like that. You know, very beautiful. Uh, this knife does have a pivot adjustment, so you can do you can uh, tighten or adjust that pivot if you want to. Uh, the rest of it is pin construction, so you cannot take the knife apart, so there are no screws here at all. All right, uh, it does have a pocket clip. Now the pocket clip itself is uh, reversible to left and right, tip up carry only, which is my preferred method. But uh, some some of you may not like the uh, silhouette clip, which this knife has. So this is either like a love it or hate it kind of a thing. So I actually personally like the silhouette clip. So. And uh, here's the, the the bottom part of the knife, and the top here. Nice high polished uh, back spacer and uh, 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 back lock here. As always, Spyderco always manages to put like the best jimping on their knives here. I mean, it's such a uh, such a fine uh, serration kind of, uh, and it just and it's very hard cut, so it absolutely locks your uh, finger in. And uh, same can be said for the uh, choil here. Very very awesome. All right, let's move on to the blade here. As you can see, if I can get the light to stop reflecting, it's a, there you go, Spyderco ZP189 for, uh, slash 420J2, which is a laminate steel. <clears throat> and uh, here, as you can see, the line of the laminate on the blade itself here. And uh, there's only one inherent problem with the blade is that it attracts a lot of fingerprints, as you can see. I mean, you know, look, I'm, you know, you can just see the, <laughs> the fingerprints is just attracting as I'm, as I'm uh, you know, touching it. So very high polished blade here. Um, here's the other side. You can see the fingerprints on there too now. Oops. Now there's a uh, Sal Glusser's uh, logo here. It does say Japan on this side. Nice, uh, you know, decent size uh, spidey hole for for you guys to to utilize. Um, and with the with the uh, cutout, you know, you it it uh, leaves a lot of the opening hole here to uh, to allow you to deploy the blade. So not like some of the other spikers which cuts across the a uh, little bit of the hole here. So this is very very nice, you know. So very easy to uh, uh, very very uh, accessible, I should say. So 
Let me go and zoom out here. Uh, and so this knife is very easy to open. You know, as long as you keep your finger here, you can easily just drop it. And you notice how the uh, choil just connects right with your finger. So you don't want to hold it any, any further back. If you do, then the blade will connect with your finger. So make sure you hold it all the way up here, you know, and then uh, switch grips and you can close it. Uh, so it's completely ambidextrous. So there you go. All right, very easy to open, as you can see. Uh, with the full flat ground, it's scary sharp. And uh, I'll show you that right now. Got a piece of paper here. Look at that. Just like butter. No drag, no nothing. Cuts right through it. So, now, uh, <clears throat> ZP189 is an extremely hard steel. So, you know, you guys may want to keep touching up this blade if you use it a lot, you know, just to make sure it doesn't dull down on you, you know. But uh, very, very nice, you know. And of course, as I demonstrated, extremely sharp. So, um, my final thoughts on this is this is an excellent knife. It's very beautiful, very nice, lightweight. It's very slim, easy to, uh, uh, you know, open and close the blade, you know. And uh, it's not even that scary looking if you need to pull this out to, to slice anything, in, you know, while you're in public. So, you know, it's not like any more of those tactical blades, you know. And uh, with the carbon fiber and uh, in a smaller shape, I would uh, classify this as a dress knife, actually. It's, it's very, um, you know, it's just, it's just the carbon fiber just totally upgrades the entire knife to that dress uh, knife status. So that's, of course, my own personal opinion. Uh, a few drawbacks, you know, it is pin construction. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys like to take your knives apart, you know, whatnot. Uh, the pocket clip uh, is only a uh, tip up and uh, a carry for left and right, at least. So there's no uh, tip down option. Uh, for some of you guys who absolutely hate the silhouette clip, this knife is not for you. So uh, aside from that, the uh, blade attracts a lot of fingerprints. So I'm constantly wiping this blade down. So, you know, if that's a, if that's kind of a pet peeve of yours, <laughs> you're not going to have a lot of, uh, you're not going to have a good time with this knife because look at those fingerprints and, you know, this from me handling it right now for the, for these few minutes. So... Uh, the last thing I, w I do want to show you is how this uh, knife rides. So I have a piece of leather here, and let me go and uh, push it on here. So you can tell this silhouette clip is uber low. Look at that. This is all you can see of the knife. So it's a very, very low ride clip. And with the silhouette clip, you know, you know, even on the on these on this dark uh, uh, color here, you can barely see it. You know, so people may will not really wonder what you have or may not even see it. So, all right, all right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, my final thoughts are uh, excellent knife. You know, I highly recommend it. You know, it's a great dress knife, in my opinion. Uh, you know, in, and in a pinch, you probably could use it uh, in a tactical situation. Um, but an absolutely beautiful knife, and uh, I would highly recommend anyone to go out and buy it. Um, so, like I said, if you've, you've heard my uh, few opinions, and there's a slight, some slight drawbacks. But all in all, I think it is a win-win package for, for pretty much everybody. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching my reviews. So to all my subscribers and my viewers, I highly appreciate you guys taking the time to, to, to listen to me ramble on about knives and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next review. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Take care.